Hi guys, back at the bank again. Um, and this evening for a couple of hours I'm coming to reprise my attempts at catching some roach and bream on some bread flake. But I've, got, I've changed my approach ever so slightly. Um, but I'm just going to have a few casts before I do that with um, a couple of small soft plastics to see if I can find any perch. And then probably next 45 minutes to an hour or so. I'm just going to move down the bank to where I know there's a few bigger fish, so um, that's the plan for this evening. Um, yeah, see how we get on. I'm determined ultimately to catch some roach and bream on laws. Bread doesn't quite do it, but it starts to help me uh, get a better sense for, for catching them anyway. So, hope you enjoy the video guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the bank soon. Okay guys, I've uh, just come down, a little, come down the bank a little bit. There are, um, there's plenty of stuff in the water after that boat's just gone through. But I've just found a little shoal of roach here. So I'm just going to have a go at casting at these guys with some punched bread on a jig head. So all I've done here is Punched out some bread, some crust actually, just to try and make it a little bit easier to hold on the hook. And I'm just going to, as I have done there, pop that on the hook, as so. And I'm going to attempt to cast that into that shawl of roach without spooking them, which might be tricky. I don't have to cast very far because they're only here. Oh, ironically, cast, cast too far straight away. Got a hit on that immediately. So we'll try that again. I want to try it over here with some slightly bigger fish. There we go. Boy, that's what we're talking about. Oh, wow. I think that's a bream. And I'm not quite sure where the edge of the canal is. So I'm not going to pull too hard on that. Wow, that is considerably more successful than I was the other day. <laughs> Goodness, the hook has somehow managed to go all the way through into the mine net, which isn't very helpful. Slimy bream number one. Yeah, I don't know where that shawl has gone. As I say, the water is a little bit murky. like a few fish over there but again it's quite it's quite difficult to see oh yep wow goodness that's a big roach in some weed Oh, 
one of these. Is it a roach or a hybrid? I don't really, I don't really know much of an expert on these things. trails as well again. I think I'm gonna give that away just out of interest. One point nine six pounds. And I think this seems to be a fairly uh, Fairly good way of doing it. I've lost them again. I think they're in front of me just over there. Oh, that was a bump. <laughs> what have we got here? Is that another roach? So, yeah, I might be able to lift them out of the water. The nails are obviously a bit softer, more delicate. Where's he gone? So yes, I've I've been wanting to have the flexibility to fish for roach, perch, pike, all from or or, or rather all using the FS kit. Um, it's a nice little roach, slimy as all hell, but nice nonetheless. And so, yeah, I'll take you through the method in a minute and I'm just going to have a few more casts of where that one came out from. He's using a size 12 jig head with, um, I think this is a 0.7 gram. Uh, weight and some punched crust. And that really is it. <clears throat> and I'm using crust just because it stays on the hook a little bit more effectively. So I'm just tucking it through. Turn it like that, and I might put a couple of pieces on. And the nice thing about this is, it, as it <clears throat> as it gets wet, obviously it swells up and becomes a bit more buoyant, which means we get a slightly slower sink. There's still a few fish in front. I mean, yeah, obviously, what happens as soon as you catch one, they get spooked and uh, they all disappear. I think I just I did see another one moving down there. Is it a bit further down the bank? There's a bit of colour in the water. I'm working on the basis that there's probably probably something down that will take it. You're a 
perch. Okay, can see those taking it. What we got there? A little roach. Back in the water. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> we got there, another little roach. <laughs> there we go. So I'm struggling to find the shoals. Oops. There's plenty of these little fellas about. Little perch, look. <clears throat> so guys, I'm going to have a couple of last casts around here with some of this bread. Uh, just see if I can find anything else. Um, if I catch anything else, I'll put it in the video. Um, other than that, I'll say it was just a quick video just to share my approach to, uh, or refining my approach to trying to fish for some of these roach and bream, etc. Um, and anything else, really. I mean, it's, it works for perch as well, obviously. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys, anyway. Um, and I'll uh, catch you on the bank soon.